A central Texas city may soon offer a familiar sounding service to help you get around town. Good morning, everyone, and welcome to KXAN News Today. Happy to have you around. I'm Sally Hernandez. And I'm Tom Miller. There's something new coming around Rock called Mobility on Demand, very similar to rideshare apps like Uber and Lyft. KXAN's Dylan McKim is joining us live to explain how it works. Good morning. Morning. Hey, good morning, Tom and Sally. Yeah, the city of Round Rock approved a five year, six million dollar contract with Z Trip to provide this new service. Starting in June, people will, will be able to hail a ride using an app, their phone or going online. The service will give you a nearby virtual bus stop to meet your ride and will drop you off within blocks of your final destination. Fares will cost between three and five dollars. And the biggest thing about this service is it will provide curb to curb rides for those with a disability. Earlier this year, the city reduced its paratransit service area. I want to show you the impact. The gray area on your screen is the city limits. The old paratransit service used to extend outside parts of the city limit. This blue area is the new paratransit service area, which is smaller. The green area on the map is the new mobility on demand service area that will take effect in June. Anyone within the green area on this map qualifies for the service, including those with a disability. Unfortunately, six people who use the paratransit services in the past fall outside of both these zones. City Council talked about expanding the mobility on demand service area last week. Certainly that can be uh, modified, but there, there could be a cost then. So if it takes more time now to go um, service passengers or, or folks that need the help um, outside of a city limit, and that takes time, now there may be somebody in the green box that, you know, we've already reached our capacity our, and the demand becomes a challenge. Now, there is some good news for those six people. The CEO of ZTRIP was at that council meeting last week, and he made a commitment to the city saying that they will cover those six people and they will take on any additional costs that may come with providing that service. They'll do that until the end of the year. That will give the city some time to evaluate this service and talk about whether or not they're going to expand it going into the future. Reporting live in Round Rock, Dylan McKim, KXAN News.